Alright, so guys, actually welcome to Ubusari. That's the name of our company here. And I would like to introduce myself first before we going in, alright? So actually my name is Tico. So I'm as the owner of that company and I would like to explain you about what we did inside. Let's do doing that guys. You're gonna get it. So actually in this company we making coffee guys. But not only coffee we're making here, we're making the other product of a tea and also chocolate. So first I'm gonna explain you about coffee. It's come from where the product of our coffee. Right? Let's have a look over here. So in this company, we're making around five kind of different products of coffee. So all of them is made from Arabica or Augusta. So let me have a look just from us right now. This is the piece of Arabica coffee in Bali. Alright, they got berries over there, the green berries and the red berries. But it's the ready ones when the color is like this. This is the ready one. And this, the green one, is not ready yet. So, I'm gonna show you the cherries inside the berries right now. You can have a look. So, that's the basic of our product in this company, Arabica Coffee. So, you can have a look. They got two bins inside for one cherry, like that. So, this is Arab, I mean, Arabica. And the other type of coffee, we got Robusta. And now, the next type of coffee. We got a uh, Arabica before the first one, and the second one we got a raw booster coffee, guys. Let's have a look down here. All right, the trees of them is quite similar, and what's make a difference of them? The size of the berries and also the color of the leaf. So you can have a look the size of the berries right now. Raw booster coffee is quite bigger than Arabica. It's like that. So they got bean also. Could be like that. So one cherries, one bean for robusta. This what's making different of them. You can have a little guy. So those of them is the basic uh, coffee from us. And to make to become five product, we mix them with some thing, guys. Example, we mix coffee with vanilla. Let's go have a look vanilla tree. Vanilla tree is over here. You can have a look. So the trees of vanilla, they look like that. I think you've never seen a vanilla in your country, right? In our country, we grow a lot of things like that, guys. And quite expensive also in your country, right? So let's have a look. I'm going to explain you about uh, how come the vanilla pot you can mix with vanilla, I mean, with egg cream or coffee or chocolate. So actually, we use the pot of vanilla. The pot is come out from the middle of this. You can have a look to be close here. So the pot is come out from here. But we have to do a lot of work waiting until the pot is comes out because first before the pot come out you have to grow the flower from here first so the flower it comes out and one flower it got female and male so we have to marry first that flower and then waiting around a couple months three or four months until the flower changes to become the pot guys so a lot of work for that so that's why the price when we export to the other countries could be more expensive than here guys in this company, we use uh, vanilla for mix with chocolate and also coffee. It could be nice things for that. <laughs> Time to show you right now. We've got some really, really special animals here, guys. I would like to show you some animals so first. I'm going to explain you why we keep them here. Let's do have a look. Alright guys, now let's do be close to me and see some animals inside. Have a look there. I'm so sorry first because right now at the moment they can't wake up because they are nocturnal. So that's why they can't see, I mean they show the face to you guys. So that's animal, we call them Rua. That's the name of them. And why we keep them here? Because we use this animal for making coffee guys. Anybody heard about that? So if you didn't have heard about that, so actually that animal, we use them like a machine for making coffee and how come they're making coffee, we use the poo from the animals for making coffee and how come they work, 
So actually they ate it, the coffee and they swallowed the coffee and then they kept in stomach for 10 hours but they didn't digest the bean. They just keep the bean and they fermentation the bean for 10 hours. So they change the taste of the coffee bean by natural fermentation and they make the coffee bean to become less coffee and also. And after that, when the animal comes out, so the poo from them, they hold the bean and that's why we can process again to make it coffee guys. And that's what we call Lua coffee or the people around up here, they call shit coffee. <laughs> so a little bit funny, right? But that's the real guys. That's coffee. It's the coffee without uh, what they call less coffee in I mean. So the quality of the coffee is the best one around of the world. Alright, I show you the animal before and now I'm gonna show you the proof from the so let's have a look. A bit close guys. So the proof from the animal still hold the bean like that because they didn't digest the bean when they swallowed the bean, right? So that poo is has been dry for five days here, so the smell is not really bad. I guess I can't smell that right now. <laughs> and then why we have to dry for five days? Because we have to make sure that poo is dry already, dry enough for cooking and doing something or for cooking later. And how to process? Now you can have a look at poo in my finger. We have to peel it the poo. So the poo is outside, the bean is inside the poo. And for you are a Muslim or the other country who they can't eat the poo, that coffee is not poo real guys. Because the poo this is outside of the bean. You can have a look here. So the poo is this one. The bean is inside. Alright, you can see that. So that's poo we throw. Of course we throw the shit, right? <laughs> and the bean inside, that's what we use for making coffee. And that bean. Before we cooking, we have to wash that bean by three kinds of water. So we wash that bean by hot water, cold water, and normal water. Just for making sure that bean is really, really clean. Yes. And also for making a genetically product. And then after that, we can dry it again for one day until the color it could be like that. So they got a different color, right? Got a different color. And that bean is ready to cooking right now. And then the next process, I would like to show you the way for cooking coffee here. Alright guys, alright, so that place is a place for cooking a coffee in this company. So we can have a look at that guy, they're still cooking a coffee guys. So the first thing, how to cook a coffee, we have to roasting the coffee over there. You can have a look, how to roasting coffee. So we just stir the coffee like that on the pot for 30 minutes. So just stir the coffee until the coffee bean down there change the color to become black. So I'm gonna show you the bean that is made in roasting. That's the coffee bean after we roast the guy. So in this company, for making a coffee, we never make coffee by lot quantity. Example for roasted coffee down there, we has we just roasted around 250 gram coffee. So that's why it's not really a lot because we just looking for quality not for lot quantity so that's the roast i mean the coffee bean after we roast it so right and then to make that bean to become the powder you have to brown it up again it's all done by hand right that's the organic stuff right? so this part all done by hand so just brown it the coffee like that until the bean it could be turned to become uh, a little bit hot powder so we can have it down there and because the bean is quite hard, well, I mean, still big, big, big powder. And then, the last process to making the powder to me more fine, you can have a look. They still got a whole bit and powder is not really fine enough. And to make the powder to be more fine, we should be stuffing it like that, so filtering, to make it more, more fine powder. And then the rest powder, we can pound it again to make it more fine and to be more that's the powder after we filter. Now it's ready to drink, guys. It smells coffee. This is an organic coffee. We call it Bali coffee, guys. And the powder is ready to drink. We just put the powder on the cup and add boiled water. And if you want to some sweet taste, you can add your own sugar later. So that powder just down like an instant coffee or similar like a fruitcake coffee. That's what we call Bali coffee. And also to make a coffee, I mean the other coffee like a Arabica or Lua coffee, we do same way how to make it down. Alright, so Bali coffee. Alright, this is our product guys. 
it could be free tasting for you if you want to visit this company. You will try all of them for free later. Alright, let's do have a sip please. And I would like to explain you about all of them now. So I will start to explain you about the stuff. The first tea, we got mangosteen tea. So you can read in the uh, what we got for what, the mangosteen tea. And also number two, we got lemongrass. Uh, ginger, I uh, got uh, lemon tea, that's a regular lemon tea and lemongrass, and also we make uh, some flour to be tea, it's a rosella, or if you didn't know about rosella, rosella is quite similar like the hibiscus, and that's why we're in Bali, it's what we use for blood person, if you got low blood, just make your blood to become a bit high, that's what we drink, guys. Right? And the last of the tea, we got the red ginger tea. That's the red ginger. And for the coffee, we got the what they call ginseng coffee. Ooh, it's the favorite coffee of the people in Bali, for men. And this is a Bali coffee. That's a classic coffee from Bali. And we try to mix chocolate with ginger. That's a ginger chocolate or we call cocoa spice because they got the other spicy also. And then uh, I got a vanilla coffee here. And the real chocolate from Bali is 100% cacao in Bali. And the last coffee, this is coconut coffee, this is my favorite one. Really good taste for me. Alright, all of the taste are here. This is for free tasting, just for sample of our product, yo. So you can try all of them for free. 